Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Tonight what I want to talk about is how to focus your telescope. Get that preliminary focus down, you want to make notes of that. I, I've made notes so that uh, I know that my preliminary uh, starting point is 12 on here on my main 80 millimeter. Now of course each telescope is a little bit different. You know, some people have a reducer, uh, might have an extension, whatever the case might be. So just because my focus with my camera is 12 right here doesn't mean yours will be. The thing also is that if you would like to first find your focus, like during the day on a terrestrial object, maybe somewhere in the often in the distance, that really helps you dial it in so that when it comes down to the night, approximation of where you need to go. At this point, you have the outer coarse focus and you've got this really fine-tuned adjustment here on the inner uh, now the this I marked it with a little sticker so I can see at night that when I move it I'll know exactly how much I moved it uh, you know with a black knob and you're looking at it at night and there's no distinguishing marks on it you really don't know how far you turned it so like if you make an adjustment you'll know that oh okay it was pointing this direction I moved it back a little bit so this to me I think is very helpful so Put a sticker on there on your black knob if you have a manual focus or you have some other way of doing the fine uh, adjustments. Uh, you know, if you have an electronic focuser, of course, electronic focuser, you'll have all those uh, precision details in, in your software. Start focusing. When you first start off, uh, you might take a look. Uh, I'm using Maxim DL, so uh, it really doesn't matter, but uh, you can get the, the gist of it here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on the image. Right now I'm at 50% and let me just go in a little bit more and now you can see it at 100 and you can see my stars they're not sharp they're like these big donuts so uh, that really isn't ideal. Uh, right now I do have my auto guider running and you can see that it is uh, guiding uh, right now as we speak. Uh, when you get ready to focus uh, what you want to do is you want to try to find a uh, a decent sized star. Uh, I'm just going to pick one right now and we're just going to focus on one star. So I'm going to select a subframe. Let me do that. Select a subframe and say mouse on. And then I'm just going to draw a little rectangle across the top of this one uh, star here. And I'm going to do start and it's going to, to uh, then count down and take a photo of this particular star. Now the reason why you want to get one star is that you can uh, find that star and uh, go to the details and just focus on one star instead of the whole image. So uh, let's do this. Let's zoom this out so we can get a better picture of it. Uh, let me zoom that out. There we go. Okay, so there it is, 100%. And the uh, the star doesn't look that great. Now, what you can do, uh, I'm going to say display large statistics. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be looking at the full width half maximum. So let's go ahead and just do another uh, uh, shot here, and we'll read that value. And the value with uh, FWHM, full width half maximum, is we want to try to get the lowest number as possible. Now in this particular case it's so out of focus it can't even see it. Uh, another uh, number when it's way out of focus is you can uh, use this uh, uh, half uh, FD number here 1895. So let me just uh, go over here and I'm going to um, move the focus now just a little bit. Uh, see if we can get this to come in a little better. Hit the start button and let's see if that comes in any better. Oh, and the exposures that you use for it, uh, anywhere from three to five seconds is a good uh, exposure. Now, that time, I don't know if you noticed it, but the star itself, it, it shrank in size and now we actually have a number which is 13.34 so we know that we're going in the right direction in this particular case I'm actually moving it out so let me go back over to the telescope again and I'm going to move it back out some more and let's see what that looks like and if, remember I have that little uh, arrow on the knob so we'll uh, I kinda remembered where it was when I just uh, 
moved it now. I moved it probably, I would say, uh, uh, maybe a, a half a turn, maybe, right there. I don't know. Okay, now look at that. That's uh, 192. Now, 192, uh, most of the time when you get into the area of under 2, you're, you're actually doing pretty good focus. Uh, one of the things, too, with this uh, screen stretch window here, when you start to see other little stars inside here you'll see these other little spikes in here uh, another item that you want to look at is the maximum this number 12568 so you want to get the maximum uh, the highest value you can and the F H or excuse me the FWHM at the lowest value let's go ahead and just give it one more try here let's uh, go ahead and move it back out just a tad here Okay, now any time that you move or touch the telescope, you'll notice that uh, uh, the guiding will get knocked off just a little bit. So you might want to let your, your, your guiding settle down uh, before you take the next shot. But uh, I did move it a little bit more to the back, so let's just see if that does any better. Uh, like I said, normally any time I get below 2, I'm really happy and I'm usually ready to start imaging with that. But we'll just give it one more try. And you see, I went too far. Now it's three one zero. So uh, anytime you get you find that sweet spot, then that's what you want to do is is to take that value. Now you can also notice here that the max went from you know twelve thousand to sixty five hundred. So again, this is another indicator that it's out of focus. So let me just see if I can move it back into the where it was. Move it up just a bit. <laughs> And we'll try it one more time. And we'll start it. And a lot of times what you're doing here is you're, you're, you're moving it in and out. Um, normally, I would say within five minutes, I have a good focus. Now, here we go. This one was better than the last one. It's 181. The last one was 192. And I have a max of 14. 971. So that in a nutshell is how you would focus it. Uh, one thing you want to do too is you take off the mouse and uh, the subframe on there before you do anything else. Maybe bump up the exposures just a bit. We'll just do one for 30 seconds here and see what that does. I'll start that up. Okay so there's the uh, image uh, after I focused it and uh, overall it's uh, not too bad I mean we have uh, uh, nice round stars and uh, that's basically what you're looking for of course when you're doing focuses you want uh, round stars in the center there if you have an astrophotography tip or trick you would like to share on astrophotography tutorials please contact me at dhubble at gmail.com and I'll help you get started on creating your own video here. If this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.